Welcome to Winter 2022 Business 210 Microsoft 365 Excel Statistical Analysis class here at Highline College. Now this is the introductory video and you may be asking why do we have to use Excel for statistics? Because out in your jobs when you're given a column of data like this and you need to know the percentage responses using Excel, it's quick and easy. Insert ribbon tab, pivot table, click OK. There's the survey results. I drag it down to rows, and instantly I get a unique list. I drag the same column down to values, and it knows to count. I drag it again, and right click show values as percent of column total. Yeah, this pivot table feature knows to take each individual number and compare it to the column total. And just like that, we have our report, which in this statistics class is called a frequency distribution. And look at that, Bloxy Cola is number one. So the reason we use Excel in this statistical analysis class is so we can go from data like this to a report like this with just a few clicks. Now the goal of this introductory video is to take a tour of how we're going to do things in the class by looking at the syllabus, by looking at our first website we're going to use, the People website, and looking at the Canvas website. We want to start off by going to our People website. And then down here, this is the syllabus link. Let's click it. Now the first thing is, you're going to read this very carefully, because this is the legal rules for how we're going to do things in this class. But the table of contents at the top, you can later, when you come back, click on any one of these, like grading or the schedule, and jump right to that part. We can use the Home key to jump to the top. And then we'll scroll down to the first section. Getting started in this class, well, you're doing it right now. You're watching the introductory video. Here's my instructor information. And importantly, office student hours are going to be Tuesday and Thursday, 12 to 2 PM, in room either 29307, my office, or the computer lab right across the hall. Now, we can have arranged meetings outside of Tuesday and Thursday, but you got to send me an email request. And guess what? We can meet by phone, email, or in person. Now, for winter 2022, I have two sections of Business 210. I have an online section and a hybrid section. Now, the good news is students in both classes will use the same textbook, video, and other class material. This means that students in the online class can come to the in-class section if they want. Students in the hybrid section can do fully online if they want, or just come on certain days. Just let me know, and I'll accommodate you. Now let's scroll down. There's sections on the class description and course outline. I'll let you read all of those. And we have two class websites. The People site contains four things, the introductory video, the syllabus with the schedule inside the syllabus at the end, all the YouTube video lectures, and all downloadable files for the class except homework templates. Those are at Canvas. The Canvas website, that's where we'll have weekly announcements, an area to post questions. And the Home area is where you go to download the homework templates or upload your finished test. And then, of course, there's a section where there are scores for your grades. Now, this Canvas website is open from the first day to the last day of the quarter. Here's the requirement for textbook, including the ISBN. And now, computer requirements for this class. As was communicated in the schedule when you signed up for the class, you're required to use a Windows-based PC computer with Microsoft 365 Excel or Excel 2021 and a standard keyboard. That means 10 key on the right side and F keys along the top. I have a picture of that later. Mac and Chromebook computers will not work for this class. The Highline Business Department is closely aligned with employers in the working world, and employers demand window-based PC computer skills. So even though many of us love our Macs and Chromebooks, including me over two decades ago, a Mac user, 
we cannot use them in this class or for most of the jobs you're going to get. Now, if you don't have a computer set up like that, no problem. You can use the computer lab here in Building 30 on campus. You can check out a computer for the quarter. Or if you have your own computer and you don't have Microsoft 365, that's the best version, much better than even Excel 2021, Highline will give you a free copy. Your computer must also have internet connection that allows you to watch the YouTube class videos. And especially if you're checking out a computer, you need a jump drive. We're going to have a lot of important files in this class that we're going to keep in a very specific folder. And so if you don't have your own computer, you definitely need to get a jump drive so you can save them. Here's a picture of a standard keyboard. Here's a typical laptop computer. And the advantage to a standard keyboard for analysts, whether you're doing statistics or straight reporting, accounting, finance, all those kind of business things, is we have a number pad, very importantly, the navigation keys, and even more important, the F keys. And we will use all of these keys to do things lightning fast in this class. Now, if you get stuck with a laptop, and I have a laptop, this is a picture of my keyboard, then to access the F keys at the top, you're going to have to use your FN or FX key. That means you have to hold it down, then simultaneously hold F2 or F4 or F12. Also, the navigation keys are a little bit harder to get to. Actually, what I do with my laptop is I have a plug-in standard keyboard. So when I'm doing a lot of analytics, I plug in my standard keyboard. Now, if you're requesting a computer from Highline, be sure to request Windows-based computer with Microsoft 365 and ask them for a standard keyboard that you can plug in. Now, to succeed in this class, and these tips for success are the same for both sections of the class. The only difference between the two classes is that if you decide to come to the hybrid class, we will meet two hours a week and go over some of the examples from the video lectures. You can expect to work between 15 and 20 hours per week. You need your computer. You need the textbook. In this class, it all starts with the schedule at the end of this syllabus, which we'll look at in just a moment. This schedule lists everything that you need to do in this class. Consult this schedule each day of the class. And this is different than most of your other Canvas classes. The schedule is not in Canvas. It's here in this syllabus. Now, for each chapter in the class, you will need to, and I'm going to talk about these things here, but in the first video, and as you're going along the first few videos, I remind you about this. Now, this is the order in which you do things for every chapter. You first download the Excel chapter file that goes along with the video lectures from the People website. Then you watch and study the YouTube class video lectures from the People website. While watching the videos, you complete the Excel chapter file. You do it for practice. You don't hand it in. Then you download the Excel homework templates from our other website, the Canvas Home area has that file. These templates have worksheets for you to do your homework and solutions for you to check your work. Then you can finally read the textbook chapters and complete the homework problems for practice. You don't hand these in either. Then with all that practice, the take-home Excel test can be done to earn points towards a grade. Now, these tests are available for download at the People website. And they're similar to the work in the videos and the homework, so there'll be no surprises. After you complete the test, then you upload them to the home area of Canvas. Now, scrolling down, you're going to read through details about testing and grading. But two important things. Tests are given in Excel. The tests will require that you use Excel features like creating formulas, formatting cells, creating pivot tables. If you make your calculations on a handheld calculator and type your answers into the test, your score will be 0. You will be graded on your Excel skills and your statistics skills. The other thing is, if you submit a test past the date time deadline, that earns a 25% reduction. Now, of course, exceptions for the test due date are made for documented emergencies. 
Now there's the grading scale that I use for your final grade. But be careful, Canvas gradebook is not correct. The scores for each assignment in Canvas are correct. So if you see 85 out of 100, that's correct. But in Canvas, the percentage scores are calculated for completed work only. So at the end of the class, if you see 85% and you've only completed three of the five tests, that 85% is completely wrong. I'll do all official grading for your grade outside of Canvas. Scores inside of Canvas are correct, but not the percentages. Now we're going to scroll down, and the rest of the syllabus you can read through. But here it is. Here's the schedule. And notice week one. The only activity for week one is for you to get the correct computer setup for this class, as stated in page four and five above. Then week two, there's the date, one week. Chapter one, that's what we're going to study. There's the videos, one, two, three, four. There's the pages in the textbook to read. There's the homework problems from the textbook to do. And there's the test listed with the due date. Here's the schedule entry for week three and four. Here's the entry for week five and six. But everything after seven, I haven't created the content yet. So you'll have to check back later for more fun topics. Now I want to click the Back button. And now we want to look at this People website. Let's click on Chapter 1. At the top will always be the files that you need to download. Here's the videos to watch. And again, in video number one, I go through downloading and very importantly, creating the correct folder we're going to use for this class. And then for Chapter 1, when you're done with the four videos, it reminds you to do the textbook work. And then here's where you download the test. So only after you've done all this do you come and download it complete it, and then upload it to Canvas. Now let's go look at one of these videos. I'm going to click on this link, and there it is. There's the video at YouTube. Now very importantly, down below that Show More button, you're not going to use this when you watch it for the first time, because you're going to watch it the first time through and do whatever you see in the video inside that Excel file for practice. But watch this. I'm going to click Show More. If you have to come back during a test or when you're out there working to remind yourself of something, there's a time hyperlink table of contents. So if you forget what a cross-sectional or time series data set is, well, you click on this, and it jumps you right to that point in the video. And so every video is set up that way. Now I'm going to click the Back button, then click the Back button. For each chapter, and I only have two chapters done so far, Here's chapter three. It only has the first video. Now let's click the Back button, and I want to briefly go look at Canvas. Now Canvas is an abbreviated version from what you're normally used to in other classes. All we have is announcements, um, at least one a week, but I post them whenever I want to say something to you guys. Discussions. This area right here, there's just one discussion post at the top. You don't have to use it. You don't get points for it. But if you have a question, that's where you ask it, except if you have a question about a test. See, it says non-test questions. If you have a question about a test, then you email me directly. Notice when I click on this, it reminds you at the top what you should do. If you have a question about a video, be sure and post the video minute mark, like 3 minutes, 30 seconds. And if you have an Excel or statistics question, attach the Excel file. If I click down here to type a question, there's the Attach. And the reason why you attach your Excel file is it's 100 times faster for me to answer your question if I can see your question and then go look at the Excel file. Grades, this is where you go look to look at your scores. And then the Home area, at the top it says, hey, remember you have to use your People site. Week one, we don't have anything, but here it is, week two. Here's the homework template. You click, and then you click this again to download it to your computer. I'm going to click the Back button. And that's the link you use to upload a test. Now there's only three sections, week two, three, four, and five, and six created so far. I'll create more sections as the class goes on. Now back here at our People website, this is going to be an awesome winter 2022 quarter filled with lots of fun with statistics 
and Excel. All right, we'll see you next video.